Uh, a man who served as uh, secretary to the Ghana Medical Association some time ago. Uh, currently, he is the PC, and inshallah, the incoming member of parliament for the good people of Lamusia. Uh, the Honorable uh, Professor. In the professional needs of teachers, poor industrial relations, leading to prolonged and unresolved fights, as well as inadequate teaching and learning material. Indeed, the swamping of quality in education, as well as outcomes, is evident at all levels. Ladies and gentlemen, the next NDC government will comprehensively reset our educational system in collaboration with all stakeholders. Our goal is to aggressively expand infrastructure, enhance teacher welfare and professional development, and increase investment in the sector for quality outcomes. Now let's begin with the tertiary sector. The incoming John Mahama NDC administration will do the following in the tertiary sector. We will implement a non-academic fees policy for all first-year students in all public tertiary institutions. For the sake of clarity, this would include universities, technical universities, colleges of education, as well as nursing training colleges. We would also provide free tertiary education for all persons with disability. We would provide and implement a free bed for all program by building on campus and affordable student hostels and expanding accommodation facilities for tertiary students through PPP schemes. We will also provide trainee teachers and nurses with allowances, student loans, and other diverse funding opportunities for them to be able to survive and thrive during their training. In addition, we will revamp the Student Loan Trust Fund to increase loan amounts based on a needs assessment and ensure prompt disbursements. We will introduce legislation to usher in a new era of government scholarship administration, which would prohibit the award of scholarships to government officials and streamline scholarships across multiple sectors to do away with the current uncoordinated and indeed corrupt regime. We will decentralize, we will Decollateralize the GAF fund and restore it to its original mandate of educational financing. We will continue our policy of establishing public universities in every region with a focus on the newly created regions. We will also improve subventions to public universities and ensure timely disbursement. In the secondary sector, the next NDC Mahama government will undertake the following. We will abolish the double track system to restore a single track academic calendar. We will embark on an emergency infrastructure drive to complete abandoned e-blocks and expand infrastructure in existing senior high schools as well as TVET institutions. We will provide a dedicated and sustainable funding source for quality secondary education by reinforcing a percentage of our oil revenue for this specific purpose. We will also decentralize the procurement of food and other basic supplies, ensure timely food supplies, and improve the quality and quantity of food for our students in the secondary school system. We will continue our policy of provision of free tablets and laptops for senior high school students. We will review the computerized school selection and placement system to address the corruption in the school placement and make sure that students are placed based on merit. We also will reform secondary education curricula to integrate STEM, agriculture, vocational skills, digital literacy, civic education, design thinking and life skills into secondary educational outcomes. We intend to expand science resource centers 
across the regions to support STEM and TVET education. We will commence the establishment of regional TVET centers of excellence, excellence integrated with fabrication and other state-of-the-art facilities to promote innovation and stimulate real work environments. We will prioritize rebrand and increase investment in TVET as a key anchor of economic transformation. We will implement a national apprenticeship program to generate self-employment through the provision of free technical and vocational training for young people in various crafts. In the area of childhood and basic education, the next NEC Mahama government will undertake the following. We will introduce Bright Beginnings, the Bright Beginnings Initiative to revive and repurpose early childhood education for the well-being of Ghanaian children and facilitate seamless integration into continuous schooling and lifelong learning. We will initiate a policy to integrate early childhood education into basic education supported by appropriate infrastructure. We will establish a department for early childhood development under the Ministry of Education with a special mandate to promote early childhood education. We will launch a furniture for all initiative to address the acute deficit at the basic level in partnership with local carpentry and furniture industry partners and players. We will also significantly improve the people to textbook ratio through the provision of curriculum based texts. And if I may add, today as we speak, we still do not have the full complement of textbooks in our schools. According to parliamentary records, only 65% of the required textbooks have been distributed so far. We also intend to embark on an aggressive infrastructural drive to address the increasing phenomena of schools under trees and rehabilitate dilapidated school buildings. Again, according to records available by education sector, civil society organizations like African Education Watch, we currently have in excess of 5,000 schools under trees. We also intend to initiate a Start Smart curriculum for greater integration of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM, coding and digital literacy, and TVET into the basic school curriculum. Still in the basic sector, we plan to increase and ensure regular payments of captation and feeding grants, and this is very significant. As we speak, government owes capitation grants in excess of eight terms. This is the equivalent of almost three years. And it is the capitation grant that is used to run our public business schools. This is why we say that public basic education in Ghana is free. So you can imagine how the head teachers have to struggle to mobilize resources, sometimes even take loans, and procure the services of carpenters, of masons, just to fix minor cracks in walls, fix broken down chairs, doors, and furniture. Because the capitation grant is not remitted tenuously, today you wouldn't hear public business schools engage in cultural activities, neither will you hear them engage in sporting activities. This is a very promote solar energy as a primary energy source for school facilities. But of course, we cannot speak about education without speaking about the role of the teacher and the conditions of the teacher. In the area of teacher training and teacher welfare, the next NDC Mahama government will do the following. We will prioritize the timely promotion of teachers and ensure the availability of funds for their remuneration. We will institute the Teacher Dabre project to provide accommodation facilities for teachers within new school buildings. And this is very, very important. It's a game changer, particularly for those of us who come from rural areas. We know one of the reasons why 
it is very difficult to deploy and get teachers to stay and teach in the rural communities. It's because of the lack of accommodation. So this is a very, very important intervention. But the incoming John Mahama NEC government is even going to go a step further by introducing a special allowance of 20% of basic salary for teachers who accept those things to rural, rural and underserved communities. We also intend to abolish the teacher licensure examination and integrate the licensure process into the final year examination of trainees whilst they are still in school. We will scrap the MPP's mandatory national service for teacher trainee graduates and restore the automatic employment of newly qualified teachers. We will partner with the teacher unions to initiate the government assisted mortgage scheme to support teachers to own their own homes. We intend to initiate a scheme to assist teachers own vehicles of their own and of their choice by offering flexible duty payments and arrangements and government guarantees in partnership with teacher unions and the banking sector. We intend to establish the College of Education in their front place because we all know that in that enclave there is a challenge of acute professional teacher shortage. And to address this issue, it is the promise by the incoming John Ramani Mama NDC government to establish the College of Education in the Afram Plains. To conclude, the John Ramani Mama that we know has a proven track record in the area of education and can be trusted to deliver on these and many other promises. He is a visionary and sincere leader that we know we can trust any day, anywhere, and anytime. I call on all of you at home, wherever you are watching us from, as long as you are a Ghanaian and you have a vote, the options and the choices are clear like night and day. Vote for John Domani Mahama to ensure that every Ghanaian child gets quality education. Help us to rescue and reset our education for our collective good. I thank you for uh, a man who served as uh, secretary to the Ghana Medical Association some time ago. Uh, currently, he is the PC, and inshallah, the incoming member of parliament for the good people of Lamusia. Uh, the Honorable uh, Professor Titus Bayo, who addresses us on health. <laughs> Other comrades present, permit me to stand on the established protocols. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, it is my delight to present to you the health sector policies of the next NDC administration, led by the visionary leader, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, which is aimed at assuring that we have quality healthcare delivery to the people of Ghana. Currently, our health sector is bedeviled with serious human resource challenges, such as the mass exodus of our experienced human resources, due mainly to poor economic mismanagement and a lack of hope in the future of this country. These highly experienced staff are leaving. Another issue is unemployed graduates from our various health training institutions and the quota system in the admission into these training institutions. Compounding the human resource challenges are sick hospitals with dilapidated buildings, obsolete equipment, and the entire hospital environment is demoralizing to very dedicated and highly skilled staff who insurance levy has been capped. And for those who don't understand it, an act was passed in 2017 first to reduce how much government can disperse under the uh, levies they all uh, contribute to 25%. I think that was not enough. It was further reduced to 17.5%. And so not all our levies go to the NIA fund for them to have access to it. 
and we believe that uncapping will make a lot of difference. His Excellency and the NDC also propose to establish the Ghana Medical Care Trust Fund, which we call Mahama Cares, to support the cost of healthcare for persons with chronic conditions like hypertension, sickle cell, diabetes, heart diseases, many of these fall into the category of conditions we call non-communicable. In one will ask what is in the manifesto for the healthcare infrastructure. The next administration intends to expand the healthcare infrastructure to restore prompt employment and timely deployment of healthcare workers. If you don't understand that, I think a lot of us know that when people go to nursing school, employment was almost automatic. But let me inform you that graduate from the year 2020, 2021, 2022 are still at home of nurses, and 2023 has just joined, unemployed. And because we have about a hundred and few days to election, they've opened their portal for only 2020 nursing graduates or other cater of healthcare workers, no information yet. Maybe in November, they'll open a bit another portal just to get votes for it. We intend to construct a 500 bed specialist hospital, children's hospital, and a fertility center in Accra. The next administration intends to refurbish the Kolebu Teaching Hospital as an additional ultra modern quaternary specialist hospital. Currently, the only quaternary hospital we have is the UGMC, University of Ghana Medical Center. And the administration that initiated and built is making this pledge that will elevate Kolebu to that level. The next administration intends to refurbish the Confanochi Teaching Hospital to meet the standards of an ultra-modern teaching hospital. The NDC administration will also expand the whole teaching hospital to provide comprehensive specialist services and establish a quaternary hospital in the water region to attract medical tourism from that enclave. His Excellency envisions that a specialist and trauma hospital will be built in the OT region to respond to emergencies along the Eastern Corridor. You know we have one at Winneba covering that part, but we have none in the Eastern Corridor. And the Eastern Corridor roads have been worked on. To upgrade a Greater Accra Regional Hospital, that's Rich Hospital, to a full teaching hospital and link it to the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons for specialist training. And then we intend to upgrade the Navrongo War Memorial Hospital to facilitate the training of doctors, nurses, and other health workers in that area. The next NDC government would establish a modern dialysis center in the Upper East region to serve that catchment area. There is something of a dialysis happening there, but very minimal. We intend to build an ultramodern hospital in Boku, Yeri, and other towns based on needs assessment. What is in our 2024 manifesto for health workers, the human resource? The next administration is planning to establish a college of allied health sciences for postgraduate medical training, especially training for these cadre of health workers. We plan to introduce a degree and specialist training program for colleges um, of nursing to improve the scale of our nursing care to that level. In furtherance of that, we are providing scholarships, opportunities for nursing tutors so that when we convert their schools to uh, degree awarding institutions, they will have the caliber of teachers to offer that tutor services there. So they'll be giving scholarship to study PhD programs in preparation for that transformation. The next NDC administration plans to complete the establishment of additional campuses for the University of Health and Allied Sciences at Keta and Patol. The His Excellency's government from January 2025 plans to establish a medical school in the Brong Ahafo region the former Bronga Hapo region, currently the Bono, Bono East and Hapo regions, and operationalize the Sunani Teaching Hospital as a site for, for medical training. 
And for those who know how doctors are distributed in this country, when a medical school or a site of a medical school is open in any region, automatically you have a lot of specialist consultants gravitating there to improve service delivery, research, and teaching. And so this will help address the more distribution of professionals in this country. We intend to introduce one of my favorite policies, the risk exposure insurance for healthcare workers to provide financial protection and support in the event of injuries, illness that we encounter in the line of duty. And I can tell you, and colleagues, doctors who are here will tell you that when doctors, nurses, other healthcare workers fall ill in the line of their duty, sometimes we have to write to the presidency, they have to go on social media to raise funding just to manage conditions that they themselves have been taking care of other people and they cannot afford it. So this insurance, and it's none like what we saw during the COVID. We intend to provide affordable accommodation within the premises of health facilities and offer home ownership schemes. And this one, I know all the unions are excited about this because they are putting in effort to acquire parcels of land in the various regions. I'm former General Secretary of the Medical Association. I know that we have done that, acquiring parcels of land for doctors in Wu, in Y, in other regions. How will they build? And the home financing scheme will come in handy there. And we intend to reward healthcare workers who accept postings to rural communities and underserved areas with decent 20% um, of their basic salary as an allowance. But in addition to that, a shorter service period for promotions and study leave if you accept to serve Ghanaians in those areas. The presence of another spokesperson uh, for education, Mr. Kwame Alovi is here. A round of applause for Mr. Kwame So, um, Honorable Peter Lancelli Tobu is a member of parliament for the good people of Wales. Let's welcome you to the moment. Thank you very much, the National Communication Officer of the Great National Democratic Congress. I'm going to surprise you a little. Uh, sitting behind me, where he just stepped up, is my primary school teacher, Honorable Emmanuel Zimanke. Yes. I want to also welcome all my other colleagues, spokespersons, and everybody who is in this room, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am sure as you sit, you feel very comfortable because you are the National Democratic Congress headquarters where security is tight. Just look to your left or to your right, and you realize that probably the person sitting close to you, you don't even know the person. But you are very comfortable in the room because the party that is coming to power has arranged this press conference for you, and you are here very confident that you go back home very safe. That is the National Democratic Congress. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot have development without security. Similar, democracy becomes extremely fragile if our men and women in uniform cannot handle contemporary security threats to end the respect of the civilian population. My journey with the taxi driver is a very short story. Last Sunday, and I do this most of the times, I pick a taxi cab for 25 minutes. Just look at what is happening in town. And the simple question I used to activate the conversation. 10 30 p.m., how do you feel relative to the security situation in the country? I had a 25 minute lecture from the taxi driver on the security situation in Ghana, the layman's perspective. And all he said was, My brother, if somebody threatens to kill you in Ghana now, if you know of any pastor, any elder, any influential person who will go and beg for the person to forgive you, go get them to go and beg for you. And I said, why? And he continued. There are a lot of examples I can give to justify this statement. Soldiers are killed. Some are injured by civilians. Police officers are attacked, beaten, and killed. MPs are not safe. Journalists are not spared. 
bankers are killed. Watchmen are killed serially. And he was referring to what is happening in Wa and recently in the Savannah region. Above all, voters are killed during democratic elections. <coughs> and what is more hurting is the fact that after all this, nobody is arrested, the crime is not detected, and all of us continue to live in fear. He continued, do you know that youth unemployment is the greatest security threat to our nation? Do you also know that the rising cost of labor is actually pushing this country to the edge of the cliff? I got to my destination, ladies and gentlemen, and I assure you, your frustrations are dealt with completely by the next NDC administration that is coming, effective 7th of January. After paying an amount of 70 Ghana cities, I'm making to know that President John Brahman Muhammad is coming back. He held the money in his hands, and I could see from his eyes, he wished he could give that money back to me, because he can see hope, and he actually saw hope through me. Yeah. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, my brothers from the media, the only real security that a person will have in this world is a result of knowledge, experience, and ability. It is thus a tourism that the only real security that a nation can have is a result of knowledge, experience, and ability of the man who is in charge, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, the chairman of the National Security Council, and for that matter, His Excellency, the President of the Republic. Comparing the two leading candidates in these 2024 elections, President John Ramani Mahama and Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Ramia, both of them happen to be my elder brothers, and I can tell you, I know them well. And I won't waste words. President John Ramani Mahama is miles ahead of Dr. Mahmoud Ramia in the area of integrity, in the area of knowledge, in the area of experience. <laughs> what is the next NDC government coming to do? Effective 7th January 2025. And I think the President made it very clear that within 14 days, his cabinet will be in place. That is a very serious-minded person. One, with the military, and I know they are watching me, and they are excited that I'm speaking, because you know what I know, and you know what we can do. Anytime the NDC is in power, men and women in uniform, I can tell you, are always excited, because morale is always very high. We are going to construct housing units, a refurbished, dilapidated, and abandoned housing units across the country. We are going to establish the Armed Forces Home Ownership Scheme for all personnel and officers. We are going to review and adjust salaries and allowances of troops and defense civilian staff to align with changing realities. We will complete and equip the Kumasi Military Hospital at Afari in the Central Command. We will initiate the construction of military hospitals in Bo, Bolgatanga, and Sefiriosa. We will establish the Veterans Referral Department in the military hospital across the country. This excites me. Our men and women in uniform, when they retire, we should continue to revere them. Why would a retired officer go to a hospital and go and join a queue? We should have a specialized department to give them that special attention that they desire. Having said the nation, sometimes 20 years, some of them 30 years, and some of them even more. We will ensure transparency in the selection process for peace support operations. We will expand and equip the field engineers course to undertake national emergency projects, road construction, and the license to undertake commercial ventures of the government. For the other security agencies, in no particular order, I just picked some of the policies that I want to highlight. For them to understand that the NDC is so comprehensive, thinking about what we can do to reset the security sector. We will develop a comprehensive security and safety program to support the implementation of one of the most famous, if not the famous, or the star program or policy of the NDC government come first, say January 2025, the 24-hour economy policy. We are going to recruit 25,000 officers, 25,000 men, to add to the existing strength, so that we have the capacity to police the policy of the 24-hour economy. We will ensure merit-based, transparent, and decentralized recruitment and promotion in all security agencies in line with the HR GAP analysis. I'm sure you heard recently that they wanted to do a recruitment for 11,000 people, and the story cannot be told in this room. But when we come, we are going to decentralize the process and make sure that it is transparent equal access to equal opportunities.
has seen the implementation of community-based crime prevention programs focusing on high crime areas by enhancing police presence and patrols in neighborhoods and public spaces. I'm sure in 2014-2015, under the regime of one Inspector General of Police called Mr. Mohammed Ahmed Al Hassan. That was the first time Ghanaians set up police visibility, and people were excited. You close from work and you are going home in the night, get to your junction and you find a police officer standing there. What is the problem? I'm just here to ensure that we are safe. But people were excited. We are going to make that program better. Enhance border security and cooperation with international partners to combat terrorism, terror financing, and fight against foreign terrorists. Ladies and gentlemen, we will introduce a nationwide community policing program. That is instructive, and I can tell you it's a game changer, very particularly for internal security. We will invest in ICT infrastructure, training, modern equipment, mobility, and other logistics to support intelligence gathering and enhance national safety. Recently, we would hear of the Alpha project that there were cameras all around, and even there was a promise that every police station was going to have a camera. Is told. That is just a promise. Many of the promises, including even within the security, are never fulfilled. If you don't take security serious, I don't see why we should take it serious and allow you to lead the country. We will control the proliferation of small arms and light weapons. We will clear the backlog of promotions and ensure timely promotions based on meritocracy and transparency. For the men and women in uniform, if you do anything and it's all about their promotions, take it serious. They don't care what you do for them. It doesn't matter what you do for them. If it affects their promotion negatively, you will never be forgiven. But we are going to do that respecting meritocracy and competence. We will prioritize the welfare of serving and retired personnel of our security agencies. We will harmonize and address disparities in salaries, remuneration, and other conditions of service across the security agencies. We will review and enforce the medical package for serving and retired personnel and their families. We will review compensation packages for personnel who lose their lives or get injured in the line of duty. We will reform the Police Public Order Management Training School in Palu, roll out a transparent, a transparent police education and scholarship scheme, and introduce state-of-the-art technology for police operations. Policing is a science, and we need to understand that. That security itself is becoming more complicated than we understand, and we need to stay with serious as a country. Change the name of the Ghana Prison Service to the Ghana Correctional Service, and modernize prison service to make it humane. Changing the name is just mere, not mere change in nomenclature. We are changing the philosophy of the prison service. That from 2025, when we will put people, when we convict people, we are going to send them to correctional centers and not prisons. I don't want anybody in Ghana to go to a prison again. I want everybody to go to a correctional center. That when we implement operation, recover all loot, and you are even jailed, we will send you to go and be corrected, to go and be reformed, so that we use you to Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to create well-equipped technical and vocational department in all major prisons. And that is the purpose. It's a reform center. It's not a, pun it's, it's not a punishment center. At least, deterrence is enough if you don't even see your family. But you don't go there and come back and become west off. You go and steal a cow or a goat and you go back and come back and you graduate into an animal. That is not the way to go. We need to let that place be a correctional center. So the change of name is the change of philosophy. We will establish the National Fund as enshrined in the National Act of 2016. Fully implement the 2015 Supreme Court ruling and the recommendation of the Constitutional Review Commission. We will facilitate the construction of a customs hospital for serving and retired officers of the Ghana Revenue Authority. Ladies and gentlemen, as the National Communication Officer said, you know, security people don't skip much. In conclusion, <laughs> the security of our nation Listen to this. The security of our nation cannot be entrusted in the hands of a person who cannot be trusted. Warren Buffett, an American philosopher, philanthropist, and businessman, once said, in looking for people to hire, please be guided by three qualities. One, integrity. Two, intelligence. And three, energy. He said, without integrity, the other two will kill you. For the past Almost eight years, we have our nation in the hands of leaders without integrity. And the consequences are the mess we are witnessing across the sectors, the security sector, not an exception. If President Akufuado and Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia were men in uniform, ladies and gentlemen, I can show you, at least by now, they would have been interdicted for bringing the name of Ghana 
in the dispute. <laughs> Our proud men and women in Europe know the difference between the NDC and the MPP. The difference between the presidential candidates of the great NDC and the MPP is clearer now than before. It is not news that morale amongst our men and women in uniform is always high anytime the NDC is in power. Thank you all and may God bless our homeland Ghana and make it great and strong. Change is inevitable and change is coming. The NDC under His Excellency President John Bamani Mahama is coming back effective the 7th of January 2025, inshallah. And all I want to tell you is that God bless all of you. We've had three brilliant speakers, three brilliant presentations on education, health, and security. And their presentations summarize the key highlights of our policies as captured in the manifesto we launched last Saturday on these various sectors. And ladies and gentlemen, at this stage, I would want to open the floor. I know most of the media people are sitting at the back. Please wave at me if you have a question for any of the speakers. Ah, they won't. Me, I'm very kind. I'm not even passionate. You can't go to the side, you can't be a lawyer. But, I'm not going to be home all day. And I'm not going to be home all day. And tell me, sir, your manifesto, your SMA, your day, your attitude, your effort, your promoting, your honor. And no, I'm so maybe body to fuck a crack at the amount. Now, make us say, your man, the knee, a obia, or war about the head, or dream in Pahom, or dream in Pom de Hom. No, they say 24 hour economy now a day ban. Say the Ghana economy now a sacran, your young for far, or more Pomodina, eighteen years, Juma, and to take your own and feed a Kaimu. It's a young for far, or more more deep from the young with a quick Juma. Yes, it be a. I was so called Mano Oyari, and then I was excused to engineer my seven yard on the Babano. It's a share or the Atu Edano, a BNE. First one, a year friend, the National Health Insurance Scheme. Insurance, insurance, yeah. I said, Baco, what they say. Bonica, see a beer. I could follow any Baumia, a year to or mine, a year health insurance. What of a true? Auto a bia new, auto be bia, yet be bia national health insurance levy. Ah, sa, scan a yatino, and could say the common health insurance for, say the bia, we are here, now go far, yet me let me show. Name whom he had by the say, I buy a disaster in a now, what did he be a friend say, cap, at also, and they say, or so, and then some asso, and then the number of health insurance for no, and the first no, 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 Actually, from the past, seventeen point five percent. Let us say, if he is asking me now, boom, we did not for that. I buy six of which room. We went to meet the star boom, and they are top players. They are not here. This sort of say, if I call, I go a question. Maybe I have been here in Pomodi. My mom is so oba. So can we have a budget? Say, if we want health insurance, no. Or money, we need health insurance for who? We are taking a boy. We are so 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 need a baby boy. At the quality of health insurance, no any age you have a and so we got to a draw hospital we have to a draw ten CD insurance. Some money is kind of on me to have a hospital in Pano. On me the man will ten CD. On me to have a Pano seven CD. It will go on person of a work at three CD. It will work at your society. It will only be it will go to a point. But the just as the key, Emma health insurance for now. On me to me every year you have a pay. On me to on me to have a tia. The Alice is the same. We buy. Yet they say health insurance one answer can say. And come music can you now buy on what? Come with me as for that is scaling. Then as I say, music can you now buy on what? Aye, aye. And then ma, I'm not too not too good yet. I'm not a cra. I can say that I'm not my free dialysis. Then I'm not the my age there. I'm not even say that category. Never I'm not a dialysis problem. I'm not a cra. I can't pay the five cra. I'm not. Mama say on yes sir at the end. Um, but something what you did buy a friend of Ghana Medical Trust Fund, Ghana Medical Care Trust Fund. Mahama Kes, Mahama Kesi, a fund be a obeyisika at the atuho. Na yemfamwa 
Yavia, and we hear your power, my way, Jim Cofina, as to say, dialysis is semi aching, kidney diseases, hypertension, diabetes, cancer, cocram, semi cocram. Aha, until or see or be too sick, I can see the alcohol, near to me, the poor, sir, Yavia, my good redeem, because when who said, the sea and Yamale is and never any Agana for a Yaria, a city Yaria, Mojabo, so I have any BP, and no Muna, Eddie, the Cofuna, Elgana, my eighty or so or bar, or this car ever to hope for, and no, yeah, or Sansu, the free primary health care. Oh, do a while, or so we are between a panic or call the chase compound for the para, or the health insurance at ASM. Mahama say or bar. From Chief's Compound all the way to Polyclinic, Chief's Compound Health Center, Polyclinic, or the free primary health care concept in the bar, or the Yenshi Shese, who costs and costs to say, I go to the Who will health insurance? Who will have health insurance? Who will have health insurance? Free. Free. Who will have health insurance? 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 Mr. Mo and Chair, what they say, Marcy G. Yes, he was not going to say, Emma, or two four, to the home, as you were said, or this car, no idea, some of the area. Indeed, maybe I will go somewhere in the whole land as I am. Indeed, Mahama say, or Pesel or Ba, or Pua and Pumudi, as I hope, not a young one, not eight me and Shay, and one pain and a body. Or see, who's a Ghana? And more frank, a yokophobia or more comedy won't send no. You're a shed that and find it serious. It will be see a center of excellence and more frank hospital care. See, I am part of the world hospital. No, yeah, 500. Uh, 500. Uh, I have a room. I have a room. Now, say, yeah. A better hospital guest here, ah, and more fire near Bia, and I want doctor for me now. A better hole, you need Bia's our gun. The night is here, can't we yet say, I no more say, almost so much in this hour, waiter. And yet, no more waiter, one hundred and twenty beds. Tiata three per the room, Tiata three, no, said, Oya, Oya, Kola, operation, oh, when you are, wouldn't you decide Tiata now, and Tapola night? A Colao, Henia, put me fan of Satia Tana. Now, who called Ocean Ghana? I will be Mamuha, Yagana, baby Mamuha, South Africa, and the Yellow Horse to send me a young Hammer Peso for your mind. Yet the doctor for South Africa, who could hear training, that was ours to all. Your friend of Red Cross War Memorial Hospital, Ewo Cape Town. Mamma Peso for DBB, sir, Eba. Now, Nigeria for Togo for one more money now for this young girl. By a more family day. Labia or Yavia or Ghana, I know the Bia, a bit me the Napa Hope, and my Yetimi Asher, the Kama Kama Kama. Ena Kolebu, Confanochi, or so of Pejasa, a Swedina, na, or Moitma for Mutma Afra. Say, where I hope you tomorrow, who do a crown, say the Hoya Femity, who will now be to my daughter to Anna when Yach, most now Yari, who do a no Akuma at all. You see, you dear Sivia. My first year in Duho, I said, Ah, they didn't know her name and Jamaica from me. Because of the way I felt. Who ran her crowd or come up at all years? Then, so we could be so for you, Jim. I will go to the other side and light here, so yeah, so oxygen and map, ECG, until now, yeah, but until Sadi and my colleague who come from Nochina, you know, over Maso, or see, or the specialist trauma hospital, hospital at Sepi, and California car at Manchia. I bet we don't want to have ten ten the action. Send your own way by me. Or the BL back or two region. Who call medical schools are young and they start the University of Health and Allied Sciences. Or see or betray me near the medical school camp on the back of Ako, Keta near the back of Swako, Bato, na eight million boa. Na Binya no amuo a half o bono and a bono east there. I said, Papa. The man who is in that is Excellency John Dramani Mahama. I am a member of January. On the day that I am a member, I am a member. I am a member of the United States of America. I am a member of the United States of America. I am a member of the United States of America. I am a member of the United States of America. I am a member of the United States of America. I am a member of the United States of America. I am a member of the United States of America. I am a member of the United States of America. I am a member of the United States of America. I am a member of the United States
may come medical school, I question your doctor, no, about three years of being passing. Because a whole moon at the train, Nipana or China has on two or China or China, Nipana saw Ocean and was on the China to buy high again. Mahama said, you obey any say, medical schools or the Kesia Baku air banks are a man came over, the Babu Boydin, as Nyani Hospital, the very teaching hospital itself on Fanochi, and now Colin, near the church. A school for doctor for nurse for Nina Adie and Wahonu say that they are who are open so called medical school. We are what we try as I'm saying, come and come and eight A, seven A's. So, no, I buy you take it. Now, I'm a farmer because space anymore. It's you know, near the way a whole room. Greater Accra Regional Hospital or say, and also a better day. Now, modern dialysis center, a war upper east, Bogatanga, a mountain more. Because we call what I say a dialysis center of more no, it be a four bed. No matter me, we call about this simple. The Nigerian no more start to pack. Any modern center, machine, back up. Any age man, it was so up bad. Or person be a case here. I went to my friend's house. A man came with money. Now, so the who have kidney problem, who feel bulgar, and back in crying. And now man say, I will pay the doctor and that and send him to hospital. And if I have your own so I never be other. They be me now. Any case here. Boku Yeni, any sad man to move on in us, or so back here, say the Enya, more the hospital, Papa Esuho, I admit me, Abua, and my Honomo, the Pomodino, Edimo. It's the Emmy say, never can it get. Mechanic, our ha. Now, a no farm, a hospital, on conform with the law, one day will be out of the Gofu. It's the main kind of no new ever Gofu. Now, as a beside you, yeah, you, but. The only partner hospital I work in the University of Ghana Medical Center, or no do a hospital, or no one the International American Hospital, why who call chief centers, who call Krabia, who be who say, you are CCB, or Kase, or Chak, ne, 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 See you next week.